Hello and welcome to Mad Rock Minis. In this video, I want to complete the Vanguard Specialist set. So we've got the Helix Adept, we've got the nice librarian they brought out for the Vanguard series, and this cheeky chappy here that I made a kind of, you know, Reaver Chaplin. Go and check this video out if you haven't already. I'll link it in the descriptions. So I want to complete the set and build a kind of Vanguard Phobos Armored Tech Marine. I, my feeling is that they'd They'd, they'd need these guys to kind of keep their kind of uh, their kind of vehicles and heavier equipment kind of going. So it's really plausible that they'd exist, I think. So I started with this kind of infiltrator body, didn't pay much attention to what one I used as the basis. Here I chop um, uh, the combat blade off this kind of um, knife wielding arm. This comes in the kit as well. And I could replace it with a suitable tech marine weapon, this big wrench from, I think it's from the repulsor kit, uh, but it's definitely from one of the Primaris tank kits. And that's going to be his kind of badge of office, uh, if you will. Maybe it counts as a close combat weapon, but I needed something scaled back from the, the great big kind of axe thing that they normally wield, because, of course, he's going to be more junior, um, and a bit like the Helix Adept, so he's smaller scaled down equipment, basically. So there we are. Um, I think that does the job nicely. A uh, bit of a rough glue job through the hand there, but uh, you could do a better job if you're a bit more diligent than me. You can see I've put the bolter arm in the on, on the other side there because I want him to be armed and, and, and ready to work with a, with a squad of infiltrators if necessary. Um, uh, you can see here in cursor kind of sensor and the head, that is a tech marine head. And I think again, that is from a tank kit. Uh, perhaps the Repulsor or the Executioner, one of the two, I'm sure. Uh, here, Tech Marine shoulder pad, of course, we can't put that on because of the, the way the uh, Infiltrator armor, the Phobos armor is. So my idea here was to kind of cut off the emblem, uh, cut around it, and just glue it like a kind of, almost like a kind of boss in the center of the um, uh, shoulder guard. But that didn't really work, as you'll see in a minute, because it, it stood too proud. I mean, I did try and file it down and tidy it up as much as I could, but for me, it just didn't work. Um, it didn't look right. Uh, so I decided in the end to actually uh, put that on the backpack, because um, as you'll see in, in some sort of tech marine kits and that, they, they have the, the Admex symbol on the in the center of the backpack um so that's kind of what i decided to do um so sadly you know i kept the footage in it didn't didn't quite work how i wanted um but we kind of used the part anyway and it ended up looking pretty good i i, I think as you'll see in a minute um for the shoulder guard here i'll probably use some kind of transfer or something from uh, from i think i've got some admec transfer so I'll, when he's painted up i'll put something on that shoulder guard to represent um you know uh, a junior tech marine <laughs> i don't know what yet um but uh, we'll sort that out later but here you can see i just chopped off that dome in the center really easy um no finesse again you, you know me by now <laughs> if you've been following the channel if you haven't if you're new then apologies if it's offensive <laughs> but i, I don't kind of muck around with things uh, um, if you, you know, if you want something a lot tidier, I'm probably not your man, uh, truthfully, but, uh, here we, uh, just kind of do a little bit of filing just to kind of help the glue really stick the thing on, um, and just tidy it up a little bit and bam, there we are, uh, a nice kind of admec kind of type symbol in the center there. Um, yeah, as I said, I'll put a transfer on that shoulder probably uh, after he's painted up or something or, or freehand something suitable there. Here we've just added to the, uh, the oculus bolter we just put the bits on that and added some pouches here and there just to connect him more firmly to the to the infiltrators kind of uh, vanguard theme we need some kind of servo arm so i decide to chop this uh, kind of vent uh, thruster thing off the back of his uh, backpack just on one side so that again comes off with absolutely no finesse just chop the thing off um, put that to one side and I need something to mount a servo arm uh, in so I decide to use this um, it's like a searchlight from I think it's from the Rhino tank kit and if you've been a space marine kind of collector for a while you'll probably have a few of these kicking around um, so I decided to kind of use that as a bit of a I don't know some kind of like motor or mount for the um, for the arm um, chop off the base and then kind of just glue it on really um, you know uh, not too stylish, but um, but it works. 
and you can see there's a little hole in the front where you normally mount the kind of the front of the light and that's going to be useful in a minute as well so that's kind of pointing down so you can see the the back of the light has a bit of detail on that lo looks like some kind of motor or mechanism which is quite nice and we use actually the smaller servo arm thing from the primaris Technoring kit here this one so i think we can lose that from this guy without um taking away anything from him but for this guy for the vanguard guy it's going to be you know one of his primary bits of kit it's suitably scaled back it's not a gigantic oversized servo and it just i don't know i think it's just the right kind of size and shape for a, more, a kind of vanguard specialist uh, like this so this is what i ended up with i will actually put him on a rotating stand in a sec so you can get a better look um but uh, thanks for watching guys really hope you enjoyed it um please consider liking hit the like button if you've enjoyed the content and uh, consider sharing and and maybe subscribing if you've enjoyed uh, enjoyed what i do so um yeah, I'll go to visuals in a second and thank you ever so much for watching. Drop me a comment. Cheers.